from CNN Headline News, this is Newswatch. Space shuttle Atlantis blasted off on its top secret maiden voyage today, carrying five crew members and two military communications satellites said to be jam-proof and resistant to nuclear attack. The Defense Department kept the time of today's launch a secret until nine minutes before liftoff. They say that will make it tougher for the Soviets to monitor the flight. In keeping with the top secret nature of the mission, there will be only two public announcements during the flight of Atlantis. Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev today disclosed the latest Soviet proposal of the Geneva arms talks with the United States. Gorbachev says the three-point plan includes a total ban on space weapons by the two superpowers and a 50% cut in strategic nuclear missiles. The Soviet leader also says over the next two months, the Soviets will reduce the number of SS-20 medium-range missiles in Europe to the June 1984 level of 243. President Reagan made a tax reform sales pitch in Cincinnati today, taking his proposal to businessmen and factory workers in the Queen City. The president predicted that what he called America's tax plan would become law by year's end. A viaduct under construction in Denver collapsed onto the city's major north-south highway today, killing one worker and injuring four and making a mess of rush hour traffic. And the undamaged reactor at Pennsylvania's Three Mile Island nuclear plant was fired up today after being dormant for six and a half years after the nuclear accident at its twin reactor. Sports is next. In sports, the lights will stay off at Chicago's Wrigley Field. The Illinois Supreme Court has upheld a ban on the use of night lights and therefore night baseball. For Newswatch, I'm Anna Hovind. For 24-hour headline news, call your cable company today.